So it has been a while since we last tackled my seemingly infinite and ever-growing pile of whips. I am one of those people that work my absolute best when faced with some time crunch and I am sure a lot of you can probably relate to this as well. Nothing gets the motivation going like a narrow deadline. So today I want to do another challenge. I want to complete as many projects as I can from my whip pile in 24 hours. Now a small disclaimer and if you have been here for my previous challenges you know the drill. <laughs> I am not going to be crafting 24 hours in one go. My health does not permit that. But I am going to be using a timer for measuring time every time I work on my projects for this and obviously I will work as much as possible in a short amount of time, just not 24 hours straight. Savvy, savvy. But let's look at my project lineup for this challenge. First we have this shawl that I cast on in October. I'm on the last part of it and I want to finish it so this goes on the list for the video. Next I need to complete this sock. I have two teeny tiny eggplants to make so I can finish this pair of snail earrings. This is a hat that's just been sitting for ages. It's one of my designs in progress so I think I want to finish this as well. And then this isn't something I've started other than buying the materials but I really want to make some tulip stitch markers before we pass spring so I want to sit down and work on some of that as well. Lastly I have a like 30 minute job tops. I have a pair of trousers that I need to shorten and I've just been putting it off for months and I want to wear them so now we're going to finally get around to it. So that's that's quite a short list honestly but it's a lot of stitches to make so maybe I should stop talking and get to work. Let's go! I will be starting with finishing up the shawl. It's the biggest project and so I want to make sure I have enough time to do all of it. I've already done part of the border and I need to complete it with three more colour stripes. The one I'm working with now and then two more before binding it off. Like I mentioned in the intro, this shawl has been in the works since October. It was the 2023 mystery knit along shawl from Stephen West and I just never really managed to finish within the month the knit along is running for. I've been slowly plugging away at this, one row at a time, every now and then, but I figured I wanted this done and off the needles now. Here's your hydration check, go get some water. It's the next day and time to start the next stripe. I spent 48 minutes on the shawl last night and today I'm planning on zooming through as much as possible. With company, of course. Sometimes I wonder whose channel this is. Mine or Cheddar? We had a random super warm day so I got to do a balcony knitting season premiere and honestly this was so cosy. 
I can't wait to have the balcony decorated later in the season for even better crafting hangouts out here. Of course, after this day, we've had all sorts of weather, like snow and negative two degrees, really strong wind, and of course, more sunny days. Very typical Swedish April. Sometimes we go through all four seasons in the same day. Me being me, I have very poor temperature regulation, so I got too warm out on the balcony and came back inside, only to get too cold, needing to put on some layers. We're also on to the last colour stripe and I am getting tired and needing a little break. 12 seconds later. Hello. Um, I have had a break. I have had a shower, which is why my hair is looking the way it is. I am just ready to... Oh my goodness, I just noticed all the cat hair. Uh, we can we can blame the orange quality control inspector for that one. But um, yeah, I am about to bind this off. I am just shy of five hours of work on this. And I know an eye cord bind off will take me a while. So um, I'm so close to the finish line. So let's just... Let's just bind this off and be done. But yeah, I'll get on with my with my work and then talk to you again, okay? Yeah. It's time to bind off. Yay! I called bind offs are pretty but tedious. I pretty much only do them for these shawls because all of the edges have an eye cord, but yeah, I have 500 plus stitches to bind off, so I'll be here for a while. Good morning! How are we all doing today? I am tired. There is a cat here. You just got a headbutt. You just got a second headbutt. I cast this off yesterday. It is all done. I have I need to spend like five minutes weaving in the last ends. I wove most of it in as I uh, 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 uh. We are not allowed to do that. I wove most of it in as I knit and I have just a few ends to weave in. So I'm, I'm about to sit and do that and then I am going to block this because it desperately needs a block. It's, it's not behaving. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. And then I want to dive into one of the smaller projects, but I want to get something else like that's going to take a while out of the way. I'm going to save the snails for later. I might work on the hat. This took all day and I want to work on other stuff. So yeah, but yeah, we'll see what I do after blocking, so. Soaking is done, so it is time to block it, and this is making me realise I really should get a second set of squares. I'm always just a little short on space, but look at that shawl. Once you see it all laid out like that, it looks really cool. And yes, I left one end unwoven there in the middle. I have a plan for it, you'll see later on. It is finally time for the second project of this video. We're going to be tackling my hat. It's a design I started working on in 2022, I think, and I knit the first version and then started this and didn't get past the brim. I also had to remind myself of how to do a lateral braid because I couldn't read my own pattern instructions, so that gave me the opportunity to work through my pattern draft as well. So that's good. This is kind of two projects in one if we count the pattern draft as a project too. 
This is a hat that I started with horses in mind. The motif is quite literally a horse, but yes, for those late dark evenings at the stables in winter, adding a reflective thread with your yarn or just using a reflective yarn for the contrast colour would be really great. So there's a lot of space for contrast colour, especially in the hat brim. Right, so it is it is 12, 12.03 and I have gotten this far on my hat. I did the last row of the double knitting, I did the braid and this much colour work and I've been working on it for about an hour and most of that hour it was the braid because that takes a while and I managed to mess it up the first and stuff so but yeah uh, I'm feeling optimistic I'm seven and a half hours in to this video uh, I'm about to go make some lunch I'm probably just gonna have a sandwich I'm not that hungry today so yeah I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna get back to knitting on this so yeah I am like I said going to just go and grab some lunch and then I'm gonna continue working lunch has been grabbed we have a sandwich some pickled cucumber because yum and a protein shake after getting my om nom noms in i got back on it with the hat and now it's just good old color work in the round my favorite thing so i expect this to go fairly quickly Hi, hello again. Um, I finished project number two, the hat. I'm really happy. It needs blocking, so I'm gonna block this later. So that's done. My next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to finally do the legs of these. Obnoxiously bright pink pants. They are about an inch too long for me, I know, because I own an identical pair of these that I did the mod to the legs to and uh, it ended up accidentally going in the dryer and it's viscose and linen so they shrunk. The, these were one of my favourite pairs of pants and um, I, so I bought a second pair because I, I wasn't about to not have these in my life but these have just been in a cupboard since autumn because I was so heartbroken over the shrunken ones so I just never got around to finishing these but I am about to do that right now so I can finally wear these for spring because spring vibes so that's nice let's let's just do it it's uh, half past four I'm 10 hours in I ended the hat on a 10 hours and 14 minutes so yeah let's do this I hope this will be a quick little project and so I can't be bothered to bring out the sewing machine so yeah come along and we'll do that actually so glad I decided to hand sew because it was a different hand motion from knitting and a lot less thinking and this was about 30 minutes of just relaxing. them old 
done. Next, and I feel like I really am on a roll right now, I am going to be picking up the sock I need to finish. This is a pattern I've been testing for disyarning over on Instagram and they are so cool. But I have been taking a bit too long, in my opinion, on finishing the second sock, so yeah. Like with everything else I've finished in this video, we've reached a point of it's been long enough time to finish it. So here we are. I have most of the foot to knit, the heel and then of course the sock leg, but again, it is colour work in the rain so I can get through this no problem. starting the heel turn which is exciting because it's a slightly different heel construction than in my first sock from this pair and I'm curious to try how it fits. Also while I do love me some colour work it's very nice with a break knitting a solid colour heel gives just back and forth in one yarn for a bit and disconnect the brain. Tomorrow. Hello, good morning. It is another day. Unfortunately, unfortunately, my timer decided to disappear. I had an OS update, that's why. So uh, my phone updated overnight and now I don't have the timer, but I know where I was yesterday night. I was three minutes shy of 15 hours and um, yeah, I'm just gonna call that 15 hours. And today we are just going to finish this chart make some ribbing and then this sock is finished and can be crossed off the list and then we are on to micro crocheting. I'm just gonna get straight into it. Let's get going with the sock and then the snails. I am going to caffeinate and get cracking with my knitting. And off we go, caffeinated and ready to tackle the last bit of the sock. I finished it off with a tubular bind off and some orange cuddles. This sock is probably about 80% cat hair at this point. His new thing is wanted to be inside your shirt for maximum coziness, but he'll have to make do with a blanket this time. But with a cat happily under blanket, I just have a couple more stitches to do and the sock is all done. It is time. Time for more snails. I crocheted these two snail bodies a while ago, but then I had a weekend away from home and didn't bring them and just lost steam. I finished a bunch of other snails after them, but these two have just been waiting for better days. I am going to be making a teeny tiny eggplant for the shell. I use embroidery floss three strands for this. It does take quite some time as the stitches are so incredibly small and you kind of have to go pretty slowly but it's really enjoyable to me and the results are just so fun. teeny tiny aubergine stuffed and done and it's time to sew it onto the snail. And there 
there he is. Let's add his little leaves under face. Much better. So cute. For the second snail, I had originally planned on making a second eggplant and make a pair of earrings, but I decided I would make this into a tiny little bluebird. He will be going to a friend who requested a tiny snail a while back, and I am all about spreading the snail love. You want a snail? You get a snail. And that is two teeny tiny snails all finished. Now it's time to completely switch gears from yarn crafting to yarn adjacent crafting. I have been wanting to make these tulip beads into stitch markers for the longest time, but as we have established by now, because I feel like I keep repeating myself, I really struggle to actually get around to it with things I intend to do. Making videos like these really are a hack to just get it done. But yes, I got really, really into beads about a year ago, randomly, and then I sort of lost the spark pretty quickly because I didn't have any crimp beads and so things didn't turn out exactly like how I wanted them to. I ordered the crimp beads, but by the time they arrived, I was like, nah, not feeling it now. You know, when you have to get everything to start a new hobby while the fixation still lasts, because if you do, it might stick as an actual hobby, but if something sours it before it sticks, it's just one of those miscellaneous craft stash editions. ADHD girlies can relate. This was really fun though, and I love how they came out, so maybe I managed to kickstart the obsession over again? We'll see. But yeah, teeny tiny projects are done. I made a bunch of these stitch markers and I also made Bluebird into a phone charm as well as Eggplanthony who now lives on my phone. I've also made the other two danglers in the phone strap, so yay. So it is another day again. And I have finally figured out what I want to do for the middle of the shawl. The same shawl I finished at the start of the video. I'm going to be using my last hour-ish to make a cherry blossom applique for the middle of the shawl using the two middle shades of pink. just sewing it onto the shawl and after that is done I am adding a few beads using the lightest shade of pink. So we made it to just about 24 hours. There is a teeny tiny amount of time left, but I am going to call it here. I could continue making stitch markers for just a little longer, but 
I think we're done. So I think it's time to wrap up what we made and have a look at it and yeah, have a look at the results. So first we finished the shawl. I really, really loved this last part of it, this border. It was really fun. It took a long time. It's a lot of stitches. The sun came out. It is a lot of stitches, but it turned out super pretty. It's upside down right now. So I'm going to show you right side up. So pretty. As I was knitting it, I was thinking, ah, uh, it's going to be slightly smaller than my previous Stephen West shawls. It's going to be great. It's going to be a bit more wearable for me. I, I find the big shawls to be very big and a bit hard to wear, but then I blocked it. <laughs> and it's enormous, so that's, that's okay. It's a lot softer and drapier than it was before blocking, so it's super nice and cozy. I also added I also added this Sakura Blossom applique to the middle of it. I got this from uh, Ikushun's spring crochet video. I have it linked in the description. She made a tutorial for how to make these. It's the center of a uh, cherry blossom granny square. And uh, yeah, if you wanna if you wanna make this, you should check out her video. But yeah, I thought I thought a cherry blossom would fit this design very well. And as you saw, this was just a square with a hole in the middle before putting cherry blossom there and yeah I, I I love cherry blossoms it's one of my favorite things ever I absolutely adore especially pink cherry blossoms it's just so good I love them so much I'm really glad I added that and I added some beads as well this is finally done I started this in October so it feels really nice to have it all done and finished next we finished a hat. This is the capriole hat. This is a capriole leap that the horse is doing. I designed this years ago. Uh, I started this, I don't know, but the, the, the latest pattern draft is from 2022. So that tells you how old this is. <laughs> Uh, this has been in a project bag just waiting for me to have the urge to finish it and the urge was here this vlog so we have finished the hat. And yeah it looks a bit funny right now. It's going to have a pom. I want to add a pom and that will weigh it down a little so it doesn't just stick right out but but I haven't decided if I want to make a fur pom or if I want to make a yarn pom so I will just leave it until I know what kind of pom I want for it so yeah but that's the capriole hat and I got to work through my pattern draft as well which was very nice because it did have a few issues that I could straighten out fabulous fabulous next up we have a sock we have the stabby sock this is the floral night sock by Disyarning Design and it is finally finished. Done and done and I love it. It is so cool. The pattern is in testing and to be announced for release. I don't know when it will be but I will let you know when I know. I did get my pink trousers shortened and like I guesstimated at the start of the video it did take me just about 30 minutes to do. And then, then, we have the snaggles, the snails, because we can't go one video without referencing garden hair crochets or wonderful snail patterns. But yeah, this is a teeny, tiny, tiny, tiny bluebird. And we have egg planthony as well. Originally, I was going to make a pair of egg planthony earrings out of these. I had the bodies already done and I just needed to do the shells. I decided to make a bluebird out of this one. I made the one egg planthony for me because I wanted him and put him on my phone as a charm with all of my other charms like this one and this one. Um, <laughs> Yeah, happy I did snails again. More snails, all of the snails. If you want snails, let me know. I can make some and put in my Kofi shop. Adjacent to teeny tiny crochet snails, we have teeny tiny stitch markers, tulip stitch markers that I also finally got around to finishing or making. I bought these tulip beads so long ago now and I knew I wanted to make stitch markers but I just didn't 
get around to it until now. So yeah, I'm happy I got that done and I've obviously made way more than I need myself so I will pop some of these in my Kofi shop as well so if you are looking for spring themed stitch markers you know where to find them there will be a link down below uh, but yeah now I want to bead craft do all of the bead crafting again so much fun I'm happy I got those done and uh, yeah that is about everything actually so I'm really really pleased that I managed to pick out a list of things to make that took me almost exactly 24 hours to complete and of course I'm, I'm really really pleased that I did complete all of the things I had picked out to complete in the video so that feels really good now I have other projects to work on spoiler in that shelf so uh, I will wrap up this video and let you go and enjoy the rest of your day so thank you so much for watching I had so much fun making Making all of these projects and I hope you did too. If you have been crafting along with me let me know in a comment down below what you have been working on and if you haven't been crafting what are you doing? <laughs> if you haven't what's one project that you want to pick back up and work on after not working on it for a long time? Let me know I'm really really curious and if you don't want to answer that just leave a cherry blossom emoji because it's spring vibes. If you are new here welcome welcome I am so happy to have you here. Please consider subscribing if you want to see more like this. I post all kinds of craftsy content and there will be some fun videos recommended to you as soon as I stop talking. Like the video if you liked it and leave a comment and also check out my links in the description down below. My socials are there as well as my Kofi shop which has the stitch markers as well as some stickers and washi tape and downloadable content and if you want to support the channel and help upgrade the quality and such of my videos and help unlock streaming Kofi is the best way to do so as well all right plug over sorry thank you so so much for watching and for being here stay safe make stuff you love and I will talk to you again very very soon bye, -bye.